China's AI, artificial intelligence ambitions started with these really cringe, awful, awful videos where they would have a state media presenter and instead they'd have their AI alternatives. So it's about yeah. five or six years ago. Yeah, so remember we did a whole thing about this. 各位朋友, 大家好, 欢迎来到新华社。我是由新华社和搜狗公司联合培育的全球首个AI合成女主播。我的名字叫新小萌。Remember we did a whole thing on this, mm -hmm. and guess what? It still looks the same. They just released another video of her, like, uh, for New Year's or something. It looks exactly the same. This hasn't yes. improved. No. No. 我的声音和外形脱胎于新华社新媒体中心新闻主播去盲。我将会在今年全国两会期间与大家见面。isn't it, isn't it impressive that they uh, mm -hmm. used her to talk about the two sessions? Yeah, she did. Yeah, two sessions. So this was uh, like five, six years ago, right? Mm -hmm. You move on to modern days and you still have absolute crap AI state media, right? Yeah. This is an example. It's from three months ago. They called okay. this an AI vlog, which is actually just like... It's uh, just a filter, though, isn't it? I mean, it, it is. Like, Let's look take a look. How weird it is. Conflicts believe us grappling with uncertainty in 2024. Third, connection. Get ready for the 2024 Paris Olympics. I mean, I'm... I don't know what what they thought that like who's gonna like to watch that, right? Yeah. And what what I found was if it's domestic propaganda, like this one's been translated into English, but it is so corrupt and garbage. Mm. Like this is a modern one, right? Yeah, modern one. Yeah. Now what happens is, and we talked about this before, but within the structure of the Chinese Communist Party. You have people that are responsible to put propaganda out there, but they'll have a deadline, they'll have a budget, and they'll have what they need to cover. Yeah. And so much in China is lost to corruption mm. that even if they had the tools exist, the, the ability is there, the people, the talent is there, they oftentimes don't use that because they can squander that money. They can yeah. buy baijiu and cigarettes and bribes and all this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. And leave it to the last minute and just put together an absolutely awful piece. And this is top state media here. Yeah. And this is... Top state media's AI propaganda to tell you how China is a democratic country that takes care of its own people. You got you got to see this. Okay, let's it's, take a look. It's let's, great. Okay, let's see. Been working with farmers for almost all my life, and I listen to their worries Ooh. and problems. I work in a village. I solve disputes among villages and collect their suggestions for better. I'd like to ask you first of all, who who are these people? It's they're they're supposed to be speaking from the perspective of somebody who's in the CCP, but at like a village or low low level. And why does it look like they're just playing mahjong or something? It there? certainly does. Yeah, this entire video is AI generated from China. Okay, let's right. see what else. To livelihood. I write down motions based on my experience. I want my words to truly help with China's technological development. <laughs> Love his hand. <laughs> Lay's hand is like it's a like freaking a lobster claw. Or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a lobster claw <laughs> yeah. backwards. You know, yeah, yeah I can't do it. Yeah, yeah it's, they're getting better at it. Yeah. yeah, that that's definitely not a good example. It's like a giant chicken foot. It is kind of, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. See, see what happens next. Delegates like us travel to Beijing, Beijing for the annual, annual two sessions, sessions bringing our motions, motions and proposals. proposals. They, they concern, concern people's, people's wishes and, and the needs wow. of the entire society. society. Oh, I didn't make this. Dude, I didn't make this. That's some of the worst <laughs> CG I've ever seen. This go, is like <laughs> go back to where it transitions into. Okay, that. the train. And I just love the chorus of people talking over each other. Yeah, in yeah. the AI voice. It's all about two sessions. Two sessions, sessions bringing, bringing out motions, motions and proposals. proposals. They, they concern, concern people's, people's wishes, wishes and the needs, needs of the entire society. society. That CG is so bad. Do you know what that reminds me of? Is what? when they used AI to to. From a state, a state government employee used AI, mm -hmm. an AI video oh, to that. show off the high-speed rail system. Oh, you mean this? You know, you know when those four corresponding yes, exact same yes. trains overlapped each other in Guizhou? This reminds me of that old '90s, like late '90s TV show for kids called Reboot. It look, it's Reboot vibes. <laughs> yeah. I used to watch Reboot. Well, yeah, probably the most boring it. show ever, but I'm nostalgic <laughs> yes. for it. Yeah, because yeah, it was CG. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it looks so bad. Nearly 3,000 national lawmakers and over 2,100 political monkey. advisors from all over China gather at the Great Hall of the People, discussing various issues for the following years. So this is China's whole process people's democracy. That is not, that's nonsense. <laughs> There's no democracy at all. So they create, if you guys are new mm. here, they created, the CCP, the Chinese government created yeah. this this term called whole process democracy. No whole process people's democracy. Sorry, 
whole process people's democracy. You know why they did that? Because everyone kept saying, look at Taiwan, it's a vibrant democracy. Yeah. You know, yes. it shows you that uh, it can work. Because if you look at Taiwan, it's wildly successful. Yeah. It's an excellent place to yes. live. It's full of brimming, brimming with culture. Yeah. It's, a, it's an amazing place right next to China. It is wealthier and freer. <laughs> yeah, so everyone's like, look, democracy is amazing. It it's like a vibrant Chinese democracy. Chinese people so, can have democracy. Yeah. yeah, so then China's like, oh, man, they keep using this word democracy, <laughs> yes. and it makes us look bad. So we want democracy too, yeah, but we don't have it. So Taiwan's like do? a 94 out of 100 on the democracy chart or whatever. Yeah, China's super a nine. fair and free yeah nine out of 100 yeah. so it's 10 times more free taiwan right yeah. so then they go yeah you're right they're like we gotta use this word yeah we gotta use democracy <laughs> how can we like bullshit people you at know? the same time they like to denigrate american democracy right yeah. they say america is a fake democracy china is a whole process people's democracy so what we figured out this this means which means nothing it means that you have a government <laughs> yes where people can't vote yes that's the first pillar of whole people let me yeah. give you the pillars yeah Whole process people's democracy means you can't vote. No, nope. the CCP has an inner circle that make de make decisions amongst yes. themselves, and that actually those decisions are ultimately decided by the guy in charge, which is yes. Xi Jinping, the yeah. dictator of China. So, so you can whole... you can you can say we want this, and Xi Jinping can say no. Yes, correct. Yeah, and yes. so that's democracy. Yes. It's that's a whole, dictatorship. Whole process people's democracy, meaning the people have no democracy. That's what that means. It okay. Means no process. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Yeah, zero process. Uh, no one's democracy. The essence is that people get to discuss their own affairs to reach the... Oh, yes. You had this. You know, China keeps busting out this. They, they say China's the biggest spender in AI technology. And yeah. the, the West runs with these stats, too. That's why you right? got all this nonsense. Yeah, like, uh, young girl and beautiful. It's just the, the huge proportion of it that we see as, as consumers of Chinese media, right? Yeah. Is, it's rubbish. It's just nonsense. It's it fake, is. right? It's rubbish. But that's not... I think that I'd be doing a massive disservice if I was to say that it doesn't have a massive effect on the West. Mm. And that's because China does fail at AI. They fail at all this kind of stuff. But at the same time, they use Western AI. They use Western AI. They use the good AI. <laughs> the good AI for influence operations. Yes. And it's gotten so bad mm -hmm. that... If you guys are new here, we often talk about these people we call shills, right? Yes. CCP shills. Yeah. They are people that are from America or Canada or or whatever, a different country. Mm -hmm. They might that, like McDonald's. Maybe they like the McDonald's. They work, mm -hmm. but they work for state media in China. Yeah. And yeah. it's kind of modern day. You remember what you used to see back in Nazi Germany? Yeah, load ho ho. Yeah, you had these propagandists from the West that would work for german you know the german yeah. state yeah and they'd like have a radio show or something yes. to say how germany's amazing yeah germany's the best and here we are with germany nazi germany the <laughs> pillar of humankind yes you know, exactly kind of yeah nowadays the, mm -hmm. the modern version of that is people that work for chinese state media they might dance with vegetables occasionally they will go to western china and say look there's no genocide i mean you have yeah. you literally have white guys working for the ccp that will go to western china where there's a genocide of minorities go to a tourist area go to a tourist area like, and go look, look no genocide here with like eight minders around them exactly right? yeah no, i'm not exaggerating no it's but, true but... <laughs> we've, we've done videos i've got videos on my channel that prove this yeah so you have these this mm. group of people that have a very negative impact on the world they they're mm -hmm. disseminating communist propaganda misinformation authoritarian disinformation. propaganda disinformation mm -hmm. misinformation but yeah. at the same time you have china that is leveraging ai content to do exactly the same as their job yes uh to disseminate misinformation and actually they've seen greater success with that than they have with the shills yeah because the shills, shills are, are not likable no they're not right yeah. it's also very unbelievable yeah you have proof in front of you right correct and then they say the opposite so microsoft uh, i believe the threat report this is clint watts from general Ma uh general manager of microsoft threat analysis center has uh, put put together some great reports, which we've yeah. we've uh, linked below, and it's actually now been found to have a great success. Um, well, China's seeing great success in numbers from these accounts where they're putting out AI content about yeah. how America's bad or this and that, right? Do we have some good examples? We do, we do. What is this little splurb? Do you want to read it? So it says, China's using fake social media accounts to poll voters on what divides them the most to sow division and possibly influence the outcome of the U.S. presidential election in its favor. China's also increased its use of AI-generated content to further its goals around the world. So... Here's the deal. Yeah. We saw China, we've been covering this for years now. China's using content to make America look bad, right? And that's a way to promote its own ideals. And it's yeah. also mostly to sow division amongst Americans. Yes. So what they've been doing recently is making fake accounts mm -hmm. 
to test the waters to see what Americans respond to. And we thought this, you can go to the next slide. We thought this was fascinating because we see this happen in the chat while yes. we have our show, right? Yes. We'll see these accounts pop up. Yeah. And what they'll do is they'll put out something. They'll put well, out... Yeah, I'll give you an example. If we're talking about a very important topic that's got something to do with the Chinese Communist Party doing something bad, mm. all of a sudden in the chat, you'll see Biden sucks or Trump sucks yeah. or something like that to try and divert attention away from the very topic we're talking about, which has nothing to do with either Biden or Trump. Right. That's the kind of idea, right? Or mm -hmm. talk about Chinese healthcare, how bad it is. You'll yeah. see people say... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. American yeah. healthcare system is worse. They also do that. Yeah. And it's like, well, okay. no, they don't. And I've never seen your name before. Yes. <laughs> you know yeah, exactly. I mean? So you, there was three key findings in this report. You had deceptive social media accounts by the CCP, um, and they started to pose contentious questions on controversial U.S. domestic uh, issues to better understand the key issues that divide U.S. voters. Remember, China is not on any side. Yeah. Here. China is furthering its own goals, right? Mm -hmm. So their own goal currently, the Chinese government, is to divide the U.S. populace. Yes. They don't, honestly, there's a lot of budget to try to make China look good, for sure. That, yeah. That's a separate thing. The biggest thing they want to do is divide American people so that America loses prosperity, loses stability. Yes. They want Americans at each other's throats on perceived issues, and mm -hmm. then they can laugh all the way to the bank. It's not a practical joke to them. Yeah. They can benefit from being a larger trade partner with someone. They can yeah. benefit by, you know, getting in, getting influence in politics at that yeah. point, yeah. right? Uh, this could be used to gather intelligence and precision on key, on voting demographics ahead of the U.S. presidential election. Now, what would China might, might want to do with this data is find politicians that are not necessarily in their pocket, but politicians that are more able. They're it's more friendly to China. More friendly they to China. want to uh, invest in China. They want to allow China to build a battery factory in, next to a military base. Sure. They want China, like people to invest in Chinese military yes. things so that China can steal IP, whatever. It's, it's between yeah. that or the motivation could possibly be just to make America chaotic. Right? Yeah, they do that too. Uh, this There has been increased uh, use of Chinese AI-generated content recent months attempting to influence the SO division in the U.S. and elsewhere on a range of topics, including the, and this is what we picked up on this too, the train derailment in Kentucky in oh, they love 2023. That. Yeah. We have that example coming up. Maui wildfires in August 2023, we covered that. Yeah. Uh, the disposal of Japanese nuclear wastewater, we covered yes, that. Yes, we covered that. Drug use in the U.S. as well as immigration policies and racial tensions in the country, we covered that. Mm -hmm. There is Who's little... the biggest immigrating uh, like demographic these days, anyway? I don't Just know. Just out of interest. It's China's on top. I yeah. mean, it's up there. <laughs> yeah, it's coming over the border. It's Chinese people right yeah, now. So yeah, that's, that's rich, it's, right? Yeah. There's little evidence these efforts have been successful in swaying opinion. China's geopolitical priorities remain unchanged, but has doubled down on its targets and increased the sophistication of its influence operations attacks. So in the in the next slides, you see these are called I.O. attacks. Okay. Uh, these priorities are the South Pacific Islands. Sure. We know that that's massively yeah. contentious. In fact, it's a powder keg right now. Yeah, correct. Uh, the South China Sea region and the U.S. defense industrial base. So let's have a look at some of these actual examples here. Yeah. This is where it gets nasty. So... This is fascinating. Yes. This is in the Microsoft Threat Report, and both mm -hmm. of them are linked below. Yeah. What do you see here on the screen? Uh, some Black Lives Matter thing with a black dude putting up his hands and, I guess, bullet holes in his car or something. Or okay. A car. Mm -hmm. So this was created. It's AI generated. It's okay. not real. This this was created. Yeah. AI generated. Uh, first, This first image is created yeah. by a Chinese propaganda account. Okay. Yeah. A fake account run by sure. the Chinese Communist sure. Party. And it was put out there. Now, why does China have anything to do with this, right? Because they just want to sow division. Correct. They yeah. knew that this was a contentious They topic, were going right? on about this, all this. I Remember, Hua Qingyin, the foreign spokeswoman, was posting, I can't breathe. Yes. What? I mean, if you look at Chinese police brutality, they it's don't insane. Know, they, I mean, you, it's you just, can't you know, talk. that's not and the it's same got, place. You want to talk about racism, China's the most racist country I've ever ever been in and i come from south africa it's pretty rich right dude i'm not even joking here casual racism and just blatant out there racism and maybe it's got to do with the lack of um what do you call that contact with the outside yeah, world for so long is cut off. whatever but right. if you want blatant racism china is the most racist country i've yes. ever visited in my entire life and again i just have to state i am from south africa yes all right you think apartheid was bad china's way worse you know, when it comes to pigeonholing people and us versus them and not allowing people to... Overt. Dude, it's like, again, say what you want about any country in the world, but you cannot go to China, immigrate, and become a Chinese citizen. No. It's not possible. No. You can't. No. All 
All right. So, hey, you know, don't talk about stuff like this. Also, you want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, ostracization of minorities? Yes. Look at what China does. And I think, Mm -hmm. I know that's a very contentious thing, what you just said. Mm -hmm. But is it when you have over a million Uyghurs in concentration camps? Mm Mm-hmm. You have concentration camps it's, yeah. where people of a different race. Yeah, yeah. China, the Chinese government says you are a different race. I'm going to put you in a concentration camp now, yeah. right now, not yeah. in the past. Yeah. Now, yeah. So it's just like the fact that the foreign ministry spokeswoman was saying, like, can't, I can't breathe, and jumping on the Black Lives Matter stuff yes. and all this. It's such a crazy, weird world we live in, where people actually took that seriously and were like, thought that they could talk about these things. Yes. You know what I mean? So. Look at this. Yeah. On the left, you have that that was put out, right? This yeah. Black Lives Matter thing, yeah. right? So you're like, wait a minute. That's that's weird. Why is China putting that out? But yeah. it was masked as a, an account that yeah. wasn't supposed to look like that. Yeah. Right? Now, on the right, mm-hmm. you have the exact same post yes. reposted as a fake account that was made to look like a conservative voter. Yeah, seven hours later. So you have this, and it talks about Biden and stuff, right? Yeah. Do you see? There's no side here. Yes. They, you had you had them trying to do both things. They're playing right? both fields, and I think this is something that everybody has to realize. It doesn't matter if you're like a flaming leftist or a flaming rightist. It doesn't matter how strongly you believe in your own um, ideals and whatever the case. China doesn't care. They no. just want to play you off each other. They want it. They want to have their cake and eat it. They want you to get mad mm-hmm. at that side, and they want them to get mad at that side. And they don't take sides. They just want everybody to be angry at each other, and they want to sow division. Yes. Here's a great example of it. You see, using the same AI generated image to play both sides of the fence. Mm-hmm. And it's very, like, you've probably fallen for this stuff, you know? Yes. It says, a Black Lives Matter graphic first uploaded by CCP-affiliated automated account when it was uploaded by an account impersonating U.S. conservative voters. Yeah, but then it later. was. Yeah, yeah it was then, then uploaded, yeah. Okay, so that's one example. Um, do we have any others here? Yeah, what's this? Inauthentic Chinese social media accounts try to learn more about what divides U.S. voters. So All you right. can see this first account here. This will be, I believe, on Twitter, right? Yeah. It says, only under the Biden administration could the U.S. military lose an $80 million F-35 jet in the air. What do you think about this? Yeah. And then it says, breaking, senators release a one... $118 billion package that pairs uh, border policies with aid for Ukraine and Israel. The bill is $75 billion handout to Ukraine and Israel and only $20 billion for our own border. What's your reaction? Question mark. So it says Chinese sock puppet accounts. By the way, these are not real accounts. No, these are not real accounts. And the stuff that's being posted here is, again, it's just stuff to sow division. It says Chinese sock puppet uh, sock puppets solicit opinions on political topics from other users on X. Yes. See? They want to see what what divides people the most. I mean, it's kind of intelligence gathering. It is, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, what's next? Uh, so it says CC, uh, CCP-affiliated affi- social media accounts have begun to impersonate U.S. voters in an effort to influence a 2022 U.S. midterm election, something we saw prior. Yeah. Uh, this activity has continued, and these accounts nearly exhaust, uh, exclusively post about divisive U.S. domestic issues, such as global warming, U.S. border policies, drug use, immigration, and racial tensions. These original videos, memes, and infographics, as well as recycled content from other high-profile political accounts. In recent months, there have there has been an increase in effectively polling questions. Uh, this indicates a deliberate effort to understand better which U.S. voter demographic supports what issue or position and which topics are the most divisive ahead of the main phase of the U.S. presidential election. So this is very important for them. Sure. Um, and it's something that Microsoft has spotted. You know, yeah. they have they run these these campaigns, yeah. or, sorry, these research things to yeah. see what, what is working, what they're doing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is absolutely despicable, but they've been used, China's been using AI and influence campaigns. So you have a look at this. Uh, it says, Storm 1376 posts conspiratorial content within days of an outbreak of the wildfires, alleging the fires were the result of U.S. government testing of meteorological weapons. Yeah. Uh, these posts were frequently accompanied by AI-generated photos of massive fires. We saw these coming rapid fire, yeah. especially on alternative media sources like Rumble. So, guys, just to quickly break it down for you, the images of the these wildfires you're seeing here in Maui, you know, Hawaii, they're fake, generated by AI. But more importantly, they are they originate in China. Yes. So China in is Russia. telling you how to feel about your own country. China is telling you that your government created a weapon 
a meteorological weapon to create these by using fake images. Yes. Don't fall for this crap. I know it was it was insulting because like when we it was it was actually insane. I I actually was very diplomatic the first time we covered this because I said, listen, a lot of you guys probably have been duped by these posts. Mm -hmm. We showed the posts, right? Mm -hmm. Like these. Uh, when this happened sure and you probably saw it on alternative media uh like you know like you know rumble those, and those stuff. types yeah, right because there sure. were those videos and posts are getting spread around in twitter as well yeah sure right? and we said listen you we understand this is a contentious topic but the people that were firing back they're like no the u.s government did this to the hawaiians and all this kind of stuff and they did this on purpose and it was a meteorological weapon and then it turns out this was a, a literal psyop campaign from China, yeah, from the and, Chinese government. And those weirdos out there are like, "Well, the Chinese government just wants to tell us the truth about our own government." You had, you had, shut s- up, shut up. Some people like that that went that far. Just shut up, some shut up. People. That's not true. The Chinese government made this up to divide you. Okay, yes. created fake images to divide you, and used your own social media and used your own beliefs against you. Yes. And they're very good at doing that. You know, it's incredibly easy to go online and pretend to be. A conservative or a liberal. Yes, it's there. Just certain ingredients you have to do. So you know, yes. you either have to care about guns or want gun control. Choose one of the two. Correct. For instance, that's one of the things you can do, right? Yeah. Care about gay trans rights or don't care about gay trans rights. You right. just choose whatever. Care about abortion, don't care. Create a fake thing yep. and put your stuff about like caring There's or not pro caring about anti. whatever. Yeah, you choose whatever and you create this fake AI persona and then you like look at what our government's doing to you, these breaking news. Look at these pictures of these some wildfires. Of these, some of these get millions yeah. of posts and reshares. Yeah. And then you have a situation where people with confirmation bias will say, you know what? Yeah, that's right. Mm. And they they agree with it. But at the same time, that same person that's working the in Chinese the government. Chinese government, they made the opposing post yes. on a different sock puppet so, account. So exactly. So the person you're agreeing with yeah. on Twitter is actually creating a, co- a complete opposite post yes. for your enemy. Correct. Okay? And so then You're they're all agreeing with that. So both sides are agreeing with the Chinese government, and it's just a stupid message that's not the same. Yes. Make sense? Yes. Anyway. And it's gotten so <laughs> bad that they've sown so much division that it's more it's more patriotic to these people yeah. to hate your country and to love the adversary that created the PSYOP. Yes. <laughs> it's insane. Because even when faced with reality, a lot of these people are so down the rabbit hole, they're all like, well... <laughs> I still believe it anyway. Yeah. They still spoke the truth. Yeah, exactly. America's still bad. Yeah, that the America bad party. We've actually got something coming we, up. We got that. a big surprise. So remember when that derailment of that train yeah, happened? Can read that. Um, so the the Chinese government sock puppet accounts were urging audiences to consider whether the derailment of a train carrying molten sulfur in Kentucky in November 2023 was deliberately caused by the U.S. government, and whether it is deliberately hiding something. Some messages even likened the derailment to 9-11 and Pearl Harbor cover-up theories. I remember when this happened, yeah. and they were showing this derailment, and they were like, look how bad America is and all that. But you know what? How many people died? Anyway, you know, we don't need to harp on about every single one of these Yeah, but things. no, I do want to show this. Okay. I think this is important. Um, okay. If you look at these figures down here, and I want I want people to see this because I want to see if I, I don't you don't need to tell me, but like in the back of your head, at least think about have you seen these images anywhere? Because these are AI generated yes. memes and images of critic uh, uh, critical of the Fukushima wastewater disposal, you know, from which was over like, Chinese IO accounts. So. T- you know, you know, China did this huge campaign where yeah. um, they claimed that Japan was releasing uh, tritium into the yes. water, whereas China, d- like 10, 20, 100 fold more. Dude, releases. China at the same time releases way more yeah. than that planned release was. Yes. But they're like, oh, no, this is going to contaminate the world. And, you know, they made a huge thing. We covered it before. Yes. Yeah, so that mm-hmm. is just another example. They, yeah. Anytime it furthers their goal and gets people to move away from supporting someone, it's China's dream for Americans not to support Japan. Sure. That would be fantastic. Think about it. You lose power if japan loses power in the pacific you lose an ally in the pacific you lose favor in the pacific china can take over the whole region well again they also want to use any opportunity to make japan look bad for their domestic propaganda as well correct so it's just one of those things but remember we're the real core root of all of this that we're trying to get at here guys is not to give you a blow by blow of what china has done is to show you how they're using ai yeah they're using ai to generate images successfully fake, fake images fake memes, okay, to sway you. And they're playing both sides. They're playing you like a fool. Yeah. Both of you. Yeah. Both sides of you, all right? Because in America, there's this massive divide. And they know this. And it's so easy to manipulate that divide. And they're taking advantage of it with AI. Right now. Yeah. And we've got more to show you. And some some social media companies are doing something about it and some are not. Yeah. 
I'm talking to you, Twitter. Yeah, for sure. Get your head out of your ass. Mm -hmm. It is a cesspool of Chinese AI propaganda. Yes, exactly. Uh, have a look at this. It's, if you look at this, Storm 1376 has promoted a series of AI-generated memes of Taiwan's uh, then-Democratic Progressive Party, uh, pre presidential candidate William Lai, and other Taiwanese officials, as well as Chinese dissidents around the world. Uh, and so here's the deal. This is what I wanted mm -hmm. to cap it off with. Yeah. We've already had, like, there's this big question in the air right now. Is mm -hmm. China going to try to influence American elections? They haven't really in the past. We haven't seen any evidence of that. But I mean, they we, have, but no, it's always it's been it's always been different. It's like yeah. local politicians, they whine and Yes, yes, I'm talking about big stuff. Right? You know, invest in their state or right. whatever. <laughs> I'm talking about Russia level stuff, sure, right? Sure, sure. And if you're... If you're skeptical about that, we already have the canary in the coal mine because China already did this in Taiwan, yes. right? They've already meddled in the elections. They've yes. already run the influence campaigns. Mm -hmm. They've already done everything that they could potentially do in other countries. Now, this is not mutually, mutually exclusive to America. Yeah. Uh, in my last video I covered, China hacked the voter re uh, voter rolls of 40 million British citizens. Sure. They got involved in, in New Zealand, right? Yeah. China's involved in many countries and in, in electoral processes around the world. So chi China is actively trying to dis dis disassemble democracy in free countries. Correct. Um, and they are using AI to do so. Yeah, they Successfully. Do, they, they're very good at doing this. Um, that's, that's their whole end goal, really. So what have we got over here? Timeline so, of AI influence. That's, that's in okay. You guys can look through the, the report. We want to show you some okay. stuff we just found today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, yesterday. But. Yesterday. Sorry. Um, what, what is this nonsense? So if you look at this, Before right? We, yeah. No, this is because it's fairly new. Okay. Um, you look at this image, right? It looks like some, it looks like it could be on like uh, uh, Forbes or something sure. or The Economist or yeah, something. Yeah. This is not the cringe stuff we showed you in the beginning. Mm -hmm. This is a simple image that is a powerful image, right? Yeah. And it says the goddess of violence, democratic and free, democratic. Democratic and, and freedoms. freedoms. <laughs> Everything has right. been thrown away. Do you see how they've leveled up an imagery, but there's still some delicious bad quality in yeah, there Yeah, you can tell the grammar's off, but still they're, it's, they're using Western AI to generate this stuff. Yeah. So all the grammar problems are going to go away. But this is what you need to look out for. In yeah. both behavior and content, these accounts display many well-documented docu Chinese IO te uh, tactics, techniques, and procedures. And this is an example. Accounts posting in Mandarin in the early stages, right? Yeah. So they'll get uh, that post out there, and it'll be in Mandarin first. But then sure. it gets recycled down into uh, yeah. foreign propaganda for foreign countries. Yeah. Engaging with content with other China-aligned assets immediately after posting. So... Did you see this post being put out by China's foreign ministry? Yeah. Or one of their embassies. Or they use shills. their embassies. Yeah. Or shills, right? Yeah. And that's why those labels are important. That's why that's, it's so devastating that Twitter got rid of those. You know, that's why I remember, mm. what was it, last week or the week before we showed the flat cap McDonald's yeah. with a 7.8% of murders yes. or whatever. Yeah. It's because he's just boosting the Chinese state media that's that been was, made up, the fake stuff that they make. It's insane that there yeah. is no... With gun explosions. There's no reper repercussions for that. You yeah. have an American... Yeah. Signal boosting a wrong figure of statistics for murder statistics in America to divide Americans from an adversarial country. Yes, yeah, sitting mm -hmm. in China using a service that's blocked there. What it, what <laughs> world is this? Where well, you are have to we? Use here? a Kansas VPN, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, it says unlike earlier influence operation campaigns from CCP affiliated actors, they use easy to spot computer generated handles, display names and profile pictures. These are more sophisticated accounts uh, are operated by real people who employ fictitious or stolen identities to conceal the account's affiliation with the CCP. And yeah. those are things you can look out for. Yeah. Those reports are below. Now, stuff we found, yeah. And we showed this last time was this video from New China TV, it says U.S. democracy. Uh, Sham. Sham democracy. Yeah. And they use these fake videos. Yeah, that they make out of AI. AI. Like this, is, this is AI. What you're seeing here isn't real. No, this is Europe. It's not just America. European economy in dire straits, right? Yeah. Where is the transatlantic partner? Obviously the USA, right? Yeah. So New China TV or Xinhua is one of the top, you know, we come, we very often show you stuff from them. This is yes. where like Rick comes yeah. from, you know, like. Wow, dude, so good. You know, he works for them. Um, and it's top level state media. And they are putting out AI, look at this, AI generated look at, videos. Look at the amount, pause yeah. that there. Mm -hmm. Like look at the, and it's all nefarious stuff, yeah. right? Keep going. Just want to look at some of these. 
cluster munitions by U.S. scapegoating, not remedy for U.S. O- opioid epidemic. So, I mean, the fact that they're going to show things about a U.S. epidemic, the opioid epidemic, but now it's all AI generated. It's not, re- it's not even, yes, it's, it's not a real problem. Yeah. China's commentating from the perspective of how can I make Americans hate their own country? And yeah. we're going to use fake videos to do it. Truth behind America's mounting debt, you know? Japan's These- ocean discharge. These are all AI generated. So, again, it's all fake. Yes. The yeah. irony is you can't do this in yeah. China about China's government. It's impossible. You'd be thrown in jail. Yeah. U.S. and Syria, rich rubbing the poor, you know? Okinawa, islands of trauma. Look at like, how many AI videos they yeah. put out. Again, this is not us looking on YouTube search results. This is the search results of just Xinhua. This is only, and this is China's top state yeah. media. Yeah. Okay? So government media. That's the thing. It's not some hobbyist. It's not a no. shill. It's not someone who's uh, like a nationalist computer guy making this. This is the government putting this out. The, I love how few views they get to. It's so funny. They're yeah. throwing everything at the wall and trying to make it stick. But the thing is, yeah. for every hundred videos they post, there is one that gets millions of views on yes, Twitter. Yes, and it gets. Right? It just takes off. People yeah. will click on it like, oh, look at this. And then you've got like uh, preppers, you know, taking it and yeah. sharing it. That's, that, uh, unfortunately, the prepper community has been hit huge by, mm. and I feel bad because yeah. they seem like people that have their own tight-knit community. They've been hit huge by Chinese propaganda who have just preyed on fears of, of dystopia. I think preppers are the number one candidates for the America Bad Party, though. Huge. They're A lot just, of times. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, um, you know... It's right. All this rubbish, yeah. Blood money and uh, military these. hegemony. And these are all memories fake. of... Yeah. Right? This is just an example. This is an example. Bloodshed remained vivid in the collective consciousness. Nowadays, Okinawa is still haunted by the presence of U.S. military bases, which they make it look like a horror movie or something. <laughs> because it's not real. No, it's not it's real. It's all fake. This is supposed to be modern day Okinawa right now. Yeah. Does it really look like that? No. A bunch of crows in a thunderstorm? Yeah, that's apparently. I feel like crows <laughs> are not going to be flying in a freaking thunderstorm. They're going to be high and they're smart. Yeah. Right? yeah. You have China trying to hit every hot button issue. They know that the American... Um, Military presence in Okinawa is very unpopular among certain Okinawans. They yeah. also know that Okinawans oftentimes don't even register with being Japanese, right? Sure. So they can really hone in on certain things. Yeah. And also just make America Led look to bad local to America. Environmental sure. damage. Such hegemonic practices shocked the world and videos. depleted trust. Yeah. As Edward Snowden stood up <laughs> to expose the truth, people around the world... So, okay... Here's a clear example. You've got a bunch of screaming people, obviously, like, protesting, but these are not real Against people. the American government. This is fake. This is AI-generated, okay? You can tell. It's got rain running down. This is the Chinese government making shit up as fact. Literally. And putting it out there yes. on their state media. Like, like a machine gun pace. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Why is this allowed? I don't know. It's, yeah. This is like post-truth world, dude. Yeah. You can make something up. You can be from an adversarial government that's trying to overthrow and cause like civil war in another country, yeah. America. Yeah. And you can have that content hosted mm-hmm. on those American servers, on those American platforms. And then for boosted, Americans. Yeah, and boosted by yes. them, yeah. Is that not nuts? It's absolutely nuts. The fact that this is allowed, this is... It's basically impersonation. You're impersonating yeah. Americans here because, yeah. you know, the, this is apparently what Americans look like, by the way. They all wear flat caps, you know? They do. Again, flat cap McDonald's. Idea. Yeah, they probably saw their only American shirt <laughs> and they were like, that's what they wear. Okay. That's what they all yeah, wear. so they've got a bunch of flat cap McDonald's over yeah. here going like, oh. Yeah. And then this is an impersonation yeah. of, American, of the American public. Yes. All right, without their consent. Yes. Began to protest, yes. demanding respect. Yeah, that guy looks like he's got a club hand. I've heard of club foot, you know. For privacy and human rights. That guy's rights. got like 20 fingers on the left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there was also reflection within America. Was look at, there? Look at this shit. I'm so part yeah. of my language, but this is unbelievable to yeah. me. This, I can't believe it. This piece of shit, sorry for my language, that I found yesterday. Um, again, on Xinhua, China's top state media, they put this thing out. Now, they're sneaky about this because they released the same video twice. Mm. So they first released a video um, three days ago, and it says AIGCMV, which obviously means AI-generated content, music video. Dead bomb ballad, how AI sees America's vicious debt cycle. Okay, and then they released it again, where they said AIGC, which is kind of obscure to say that. People probably don't realize what that means. And it says debt bomb ballad. Okay, 
You can see it's the exact same amount of time, one minute twenty-five. Yeah. It is the exact <laughs> same, same movie. There's there's no difference between the two. But mm. what is difference is the uh, descriptions that they put in them. Okay. So this is the debt bomb ballad. This is the latest one that they released it a day after the other one. Okay. And this says in its description, America's thirty-four dollar tin debt. That's probably tr trillion debt is roughly 99% of its GDP. A blockbuster report warns the figure is higher than believed and will hit 141 trillion by 2054. Washington has kept sweeping this problem under the rug for decades, but now is running out of rug. Okay, look at that. That's the description. So anyone who clicks on this video is gonna see that description, yes. right? And that's, they're like, holy shit, like watch this uh, stupid music video, which we'll show I'm you. Sorry, but the chat also, yeah. is, I agree. Debt bum ballad sounds like something Jamaican. <laughs> it does, it does. <laughs> like some yeah, sort yeah. of song. Now, how about the one that they released the day prior? I see. Okay, now this one is more honest. It says, this music video produced with AI assistance in lyrics, writing, music composing, and video manufacturing tells a heart-wrenching story about ballooning US debt and its global impact. So I have a theory. Click to see when America's ticking debt time bomb will explode. I have a theory here. What's that? I have a theory because right now, uh, mm -hmm. and, and I like this, YouTube makes you click, is there AI generated content in your video? Sure. Right, and it, it doesn't it doesn't censor your video, just, yeah. like for example, I had to I had to select that for this video. Yeah, we're because we're showing AI generated AI crap, stuff. yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't use AI stuff unless it's a joke and we tell you, yeah. or we show ch Chinese propaganda, but yeah. I, I have an idea. I think that they want to see if they can get away with this without, yes. without using that tag. Yes. So they upload two versions and they see if there's any penalty for that. I also think that they release this mm. one, this more honest description, mm -hmm. and then they let that run. It's like, oh, it's not doing very well. Let's be dishonest and let's uh, let's be cunning. That's also a huge and possibility. Let's release a new one yeah. where we don't mention that it's AI generated. Yes. That it's just like fact or whatever. Yes. You know, and then let's see how that does. And then maybe they can share it on different, um, you know, different yeah. platforms too. That's true. You know, some platforms might require that disclaimer and yeah. others don't. Yeah. You know, so when they share on Twitter, they'll share the non the one that doesn't say AI. In do it. you know do you know what I think our audience might want to know? What? What this sounds and looks like. Yeah. So remember, this video is AI lyrics. Mm -hmm. So they weren't written by a human. Nope. AI the song, the music that you hear is AI mm -hmm. generated. Yeah. The topic is AI generated, right? And then the lyrics put onto the song to match the tune is AI generated. There's nothing real here. And then the video, the music video is AI generated. Yeah. Let's take a look. By the way, they're also just using a Western service to make this. For sure. You know, we found a bunch online where you can create your own song. Yeah. And you just basically put the text lyrics and you can choose the voice and everything. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's listen to this, um, this wonderful ballad. So bad. In the land of stars and stripes, where freedom roams, there's a story about a debt that's growing wild and free. Oh, America's debt is quite a sight. There's some so big it's out of sight. But worry not, my friends, laugh and jest. The rest of the world will bury the brunt. It's actually, it's so bad that at the same the time, it's... The world bearing the brunt, yeah. It's so bad... But at the same time, it's so much better than what it used to be. Yeah, that, because they're using Western AI yeah, to yeah. do propaganda against the West. Yes. By the way, this is the most projection thing I've ever heard no in shit. my life. China's it's got China's terrible debt. debt? <laughs> what? But again, you see, um, it's meant to divide Americans. Yes, that's all. And this Americans is for. don't know about China's debt or care about China's debt as much as. Uh, you know, where, you would think. Where in this video mm -hmm. would you know? Let's say this this is meant to be taken out of context, by the way. This is meant to be re uploaded somewhere with yeah. not linking to the state yes. media yes. YouTube channel. Yes, exactly. That has it a doesn't label. mention that it comes from top level Chinese state media, does Winston, it? Winston, where would you, if you were to look at this video, where would you be able to tell me this is from the Chinese government propaganda department? Because it is. I can't. You wouldn't know. No. Would you? No. It doesn't insinuate that. No, it doesn't mention it. There's no splash screen. There's this no is, watermark. This is meant to be uploaded onto a, a website like Twitter. Yes. X, as they call it. Yeah. Without the state-linked label. Correct. And then people share that around, mm. not knowing what its purpose is or where it came from. Yeah. The Chinese propaganda department. Yes. It's they from made, that department. They made this awful thing. Yes. Yeah. The rest of the world bearing the brunt. America, land of debt galore. 
spending more than we can afford. Numbers keep on climbing, oh what a mess, a big tap for the world, I confess. Uncle Sam was spending. It's like this evil Uncle Sam with a credit card. Bender, buying things without an oh. ender. Those <laughs> Buy things without an ender. There's some little things slipping through the crack. Yeah, yeah I that's mean, not what This a, is definitely yeah. AI generated. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The scary and solutions unfound. With dollars in hand, we can dance around. Uncle Sam's wallet, oh so thin Spend its free to the world's chagrin America's debt is no illusion Global impact causing confusion So folks, let's not panic Let's not despair The economy yeah, woes, so. debt's ugly stare It's a classic ballad about America's threat The time bomb for the world fuses shore It's so bad the way, like, it's not It doesn't follow the same, no. like Fuses short Fuses short So I mean, here's the deal. We can laugh all we want, but that is a massive improvement <laughs> yeah. over what China's been doing. And that kind of thing, like I said, is meant to be taken out of context. It's yeah. not meant to be linked to Xinhua on YouTube that says this is paid for by the Chinese government. Here's the thing. Just as a, an exercise, <laughs> yeah. I uh, opened up Copilot on Microsoft sure. Windows and I said, uh, generate an image of China's like economy crashing and right. you know debt bubble something to show like you that. how so, okay. to show you guys how dumb and easy this it's is. It's super easy. The difference is I'm just playing around on my computer with yeah. AI. I'm not a freaking state media. Yes. Yes. Do you understand? When we say state media, guys, we're not talking about CNN or something, right? We're talking about an entire government's propaganda. Propaganda. Bureau. Yeah. That's it. It's huge. It's the entire country. CNN is, is not the entire country. It's a private company, right? Yeah, it gets broadcasted everywhere. But the entire country's government, with all of its resources, has this <laughs> pinnacle of state media. This is how they disseminate propaganda to everyone. Not only is it through TV, internet, newspapers, and all that. It's massive, and it's global, and it goes everywhere. And it belongs to the Communist Party of China. They have the say on what goes on there how it runs, what can be said and what can't be said. And they are putting this cheap AI garbage out there to the entire world, the top level state media, right? And, you know, I guess the rest of the world is just too mature to do the same because it'd be pretty easy to throw together some crappy song about how China's economy I mean, uh, yeah, is collapsing we can and China's this... in debt and China's like, uh, you know, the woes of the the people who now have to live in a situation where the economy is going down and the government doesn't care about them and also rubbish. It's easy, right? Yeah, it's lazy. And it's easy, but it's not... Like, if someone were to make that, it's not, like you said, it's not the state. The freaking yeah. state is pumping this out like yeah. rapid fire, machine yeah. gun fire. Exactly. To Americans to mm -hmm. make them hate their country. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. It's very easy to do this kind of thing, right? But just imagine, I don't know, CNN and all these other, you know, things just decided they were going to do the same thing. Yeah. But then it was funded by the government. And the government was like, we're going to pay you, CNN, to make AI, crappy AI music videos about how bad China's debt is. Yes. It's ridiculous. And you're going to make millions of them. Yeah. And then you're going to make sure it's posted on every Chinese social yes. media. Yes. 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 That's probably the biggest feature of this is this is being allowed to proliferate on Western social media yeah. for for Americans. Yeah, exactly. Specifically. Correct. <laughs> yeah, it's like let's blow it at the same time. <laughs> They took prayer out of school, they let pornography rule, saying racism's cool and Christ is a fool. <laughs> That's what they say in school. <laughs> and then the fat lady sang. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh at that, but that is so awkward. It's very awkward.